All right, Lady's lesson is about uh, six, seven, it's day one of shadow plots and the lines of best fit. All right, this first example, we are going to create a shadow plot. And a shadow plot is no more than a whole bunch of dots. So, let, I'm going to pause this because you don't need to watch me plot these points. I'm talking to people that are watching. So, let's do our um, link down here. And our wingspan. Here, and they're both in inches. Inches, inches. Now, what we did is we plotted these ordered pairs and there's our shadow plot. Before we talk about the line of best fit, let's jump over here. And guys, you need to know this. Draw three first coordinate grids. If you have a scatter plot that looks like this, this has a positive correlation or strength. Just like a slope, right? It's going up, just like a slope, up, positive correlation. That means when whatever's on the x-axis is increasing, the y-axis is also increasing. They are both going up. If you have a scatter plot that looks something like this, that is a negative correlation or trend. Sometimes people say a correlation or trend. Same thing. This one, as X is increasing, Y is decreasing. And then if you have a scatter plot that looks like this, do you see any trend there? No correlation. Now, while we're at it, let me talk about what these can be in real life. Positive correlation. The more you study, the higher your grade. Two things that increase with each other. The more you study, the higher your grade. Negative correlation. The more time you spend on Xbox, the lower your grade. Or you could say, the more time you spend on Xbox, the less time you spend studying. One is going up and the other is going around. No correlation. The size of your shoe and how much money you make. That's no relation, right? You can have giant feet and make no money, or you can have tiny little feet and make a lot of money. No correlation. Now, guys, the whole point of this lesson algebra is when you have a the line of best fit is a line that goes right up the middle of the data. Now, part of the problem is, just like beauty's in the eye of the beholder, you want your scatter or your line of best fit to kind of go up the middle. So you have about the same on the bottom as you do on the top. So, if I was drawing a line of best fit for this data, it would look something like that. Fish, fish, right? Mine's going, I've got some below, some above. I might have wanted to go up a little bit higher. But you understand why I'm saying right away, this stinks doing this by hand. Because it's not a perfect science by hand. So, do you guys agree? I'm going to fudge this. Pretend that that point was a little fatter and it went right through that point. And it went right through that point. Okay? So, I'm going to circle two points that are very close to my hand-drawn line of best fit. Okay? So, the ordered pair here was, let's see, what was this? 21. 41. And this one is 1630. <laughs> now, our directions say write an equation. Well, what do I have here, guys? I have two points. So I 
to be great. Isn't that a point? Isn't that a point? So, what's the first thing I have to find? My flow, and then I need to put it in point flow and transform. Okay? I'm going to do the work and pause this. All right. So, here is the equation in point flow form. I found the slope to be 11 fifths. I put it in point slope, and then I transformed it into slope intercept. Now we are going to do this with your calculator. So, keep this table where you can see it. But there is something that is very important to do with your calculator. Let me pull my calculator up here on the board. All right. Now, no, I'm not pausing because I want them to see this. I want to grab my... All right. Now... In order to enter this into your calculator, you are going to hit the stat button. See the stat button? And then we're going to hit one. We want to edit. That's going to give us a list. We are entering our table. So, our first one was 21, enter. 21, enter. 18, enter. 24, enter. 16, enter. 19, enter. 17, enter. And 19, enter. Now, on your calculator, you can use the over arrow and it will put you into the next column. Please be careful when you are typing these in because if you make a mistake, the whole thing is going to be screwed up. So, 36, enter. 41, enter. 38, enter. 46, enter. 31, enter. 39, enter. 35, enter and 46 enter. Okay. I'm going to first show you how to get the equation, and then I'm going to show you something to do on your calculator that will give you what's called the correlation coefficient, and that will tell us how great of a correlation there is for your set of data. So, go back to your stat button. Hit stat again. You want to see the top three lists, Edit, Calc, and Test. Go over to Calc. Okay, so you're on the Edit button again, and you go over to Calc. See this linear regression, which is AX plus B? Doesn't that look pretty familiar? Y equals MX plus B? Either scroll down to 4, or hit 4, and hit Enter. Okay. We want to do, uh, did you just do it right away? Hit enter again. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. Keep hitting enter until you get to this. Keep hitting enter until you get to this. Did that come up on everybody's calculator? All right. Now, guys, what's our slope? And what's our y-intercept? Okay. Now, let me show you something. There's a correlation coefficient. It's called R on your calculator. It goes from negative 1 to 1. If it is close to 1, that is a strong positive correlation. So the graph probably looks like something like that. That's a strong positive. They're all clustered around that line of best fit. If it is close to negative 1, it is a strong Negative 
which would look like this. Those are all supposed to be dots, but my pen is going pretty. So I'm negative. That's close to my line of best fit, close to my line of best fit. If it is somewhere near zero, there's not a strong correlation. Okay? So when you use this, when, and I'm going to show you how to find R on your calculator. The closer it is to 1 or negative 1, it is a stronger correlation. That means the data is close to the line of best fit. All right. So let's go back to the calculator. And you are definitely going to want to write this down because this is not easy to find or remember how to get to. All right. Do you see down? See, we don't have any R here. No R. We want to hit, see the catalog button down here by zero? Hit second catalog. This gives you a list of all the things your calculator can do. We are going to scroll down. So you know what I got it. It's going to take forever on here. To To D, we'll get, get to the D list. We want to get to diagnostics. Oh, hold on. I got to get to it on mine. I want to get to diagnostic on and hit enter. Hit enter again. So that means our diagnostic is now on. Now, watch what's going to happen. Go back to stat, go over to calculate, and then down to four. Our line of best fit. Hit enter. Hit enter multiple times. R. So, my R, look, my line of best fit is going to be Y equals 1.4X plus 11.1, .1. and does this have a strong positive correlation? Ish, right? It's kind of close to 1. It's not as close to 0 as it is to 1. So, our line of best fit, this is M and this is B. How do you remember that? Look up here, it tells you Y equals AX plus B. Now, watch how nice this is. Hopefully I can remember how to do this. Go to, oh, let me write down, I'm going to take this data that I just had here for my line of best fit. If I ask you to find your line of best fit, bam, there's your answer. Go to y equals, and let's type this in. <coughs> y equals 1.44x plus 11.1. Point one three. Okay, that's my line of best fit, which we just found. Hit second and stat plot, which is y equals. Okay, now here's our different types of graphs. I'm going to go down. Do you see how this one looks like a scatter plot? I'm except I'm gonna um, select that one and hit enter. Yeah. Okay. Some people's might be different. I'm turning it on. What type do I want? Enter. L sub 1 and L sub 2. That's what I need. Down here are my marks. Do I want little boxes? I want to go over to the plus thing. That's what I like better. Now, watch what's going to happen. I'm going to hit graph. Okay. Hold on. Change the window. I'm going to go up to I will come back to you guys. I'm trying to do this for the people that are not here. Oh, I need to go up more. Change my window. Negative 50 to 50. All right, I've run out of time for them. Okay, guys, please.